Hello and welcome back to Infinity Save 2. My name is Darren Probs, and this is episode 3! Yes, we got some things to crack on with. Um, first of all, let's get rid of some stuff out of my inventory. There we go. I've just fully repaired up my pickaxes. And no, I haven't done anything off camera, guys. I'm going to show you the time now. It's 1 hour and 22 minutes. Okay, so we got some smashing to do, as per usual. Oh my god, this is like... Oh my god, this was really confusing my brain then. This pickaxe has still touch on it. That's what we got last time. I was like, why am I not getting any uh, numbers coming out of this? Okay. This is going to be useful, but not really that useful right now. Um, okay. What we'll do then is actually put this pickaxe away for a minute and just keep these all in one chunk there for now. There we go. Um, I've accidentally, once again, <laughs> broke the cauldron. There we go. Okay. Right, let's start this. So, what level are we on? I can't even remember. Okay, we got quite a lot of smashing to do. 1,000 blocks to be uh, precise. Um, or even just even more than that. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of the speed for a minute. Because it does affect my field of view. It's a bit weird. Um, okay, strategies. St strategies. Well, we're getting gold now, which is pretty handy. So, I feel like I'm going to try and get this diamond pickaxe today. The brisk one. Whoa, we stopped it on that. Now that is pretty cool. Please be good. Oh, okay. It's a dirt block, isn't it? Or something. Oh, no. What did it do? Did it give me that redstone? Or do I get redstone from the thing now? Oh, my God. I can't remember. I think I already get redstone. What did that actually do? I genuinely don't even know what that actually did. Okay. That was weird. Very weird. Oh. Okay. Maybe I just got um, another lucky block then? I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird. What happened? Oh, the trinket machine. I forgot about this. Has it got any new things? Oh, okay. It's got the health one. Uh, the TNT ones are actually really good. I could probably beat the actual... Um... Oh, and this poison one's actually really good. Uh, we do have two raw gold, but I could cut down the, um, re redstone into more gold, right? And we've actually got loads of redstone. <laughs> Where did we get all that from? I didn't even realize. Check me out. I've got so much gold. Come on. Get back in there, you. Okay. I'll right, wait for that one to go. There we go. I'm going to buy all the trinkets, I think, because it's probably better for me. Yes, I know I've got randomized stone, but it's not really very beneficial to me right now. Um, let's just buy all of these. I feel like maybe these are a bit too cheap. Oh, and yes, by the way, guys, off camera... Oh, God. Oh, God. I've equipped the trinkets. <laughs> Jesus. I was just about to say, off camera, I fixed the uh, the text error on the actual, um, the, when you get gold from the actual um, thing. Do you remember it was saying uncommon in grey? I'll fix that now. But you won't even know about that anyway, because you will just have the version. But you'll see they actually stack together now, which is quite nice. So yeah, let's put all this away uh, for now. And uh, yeah, you might have just saw it there. Um, this TNT one's a very unusual, okay? Now... I don't know why and how I came up with this idea, but the poison ones are really useful because in a radius look of eight blocks, okay, all around the player, it will actually affect things and give them poison. But it's actually the wither effect, but we, we call it poison, okay? Um, the reason it's not poison as such is because it doesn't actually do anything to zombies, which is weird. I thought it did. And the TNT spawns random amounts of tmt around you every four seconds now what i mean by that it can be one two or three tnts in a clump spawned at the same area so i will equip it and show you are you ready see there's one tnt right there and now there's another one here now you're probably thinking what the why would you want this but in a mob arena this would be so useful if you are someone like me who likes to run around like a little chicken. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of get the gist. There we go. There's like three there. Look. And then obviously that one will give me um, regeneration permanently. So we're kind of getting a few trinkets now. We're not obviously got them all, but we got a good selection there. But look, that's seven. I could actually equip all seven of them. Rock them all at the same time. 
And you can understand how fun the kind of builds could get. But yeah, anyway, I need to stop talking because uh, I'm wasting my time here telling you all this stuff. And I should really be uh, focusing on <laughs> on the actual map. Uh, we got these trinkets as well. Uh, we still got that chicken, not chicken, salmon. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm not going to keep the speed um, trinket on me for now, I don't think. Um, and by the way, some of these trinkets, you can actually have multiple of them and they will do stuff. Okay, I'm just uh, letting you know. But we need to keep an eye on this if it refreshes and that. Is that refreshed? No. Okay. All right. Let's start. Um, let's start the grind again and uh, try and get leveled up, shall we? And uh, let's. Uh, how much do I need again for a glowstone? I think it's thirty-two, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think we got loads of stuff from washing dirt last time, right? Nice. We got thirty-six, which is thirty-two glowstone. Boom. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and actually buy this brisk diamond pickaxe. Okay, it's not that amazing, but I've got it. I want to keep buying each one to kind of get each one unlocked. But we're starting to see some really funky ones now. So this is actually a rare rarity, and the next tier is actually epic. But that is an unbreaking free efficiency five pickaxe. But this one is an efficiency seven pickaxe. <laughs> Oh my god, we can see never right there. Okay, let me just check this though. Yeah, it's not that as quick as my iron one, is it? Not quite. We need a bit more redstone, please. And then we can actually uh, buy another one of them and combine them. Because if we combine them, it'll be efficiency free, right? So I've just got uh, double XP, but I'm an absolute donkey. I forgot to put haste on. God, I'm an idiot. I forgot I had the haste trinket. Look how fast this is going to be. This is going to be epic. My XP is going to go right up, Luke. <laughs> How long have I got left? 30 seconds. Okay. But yeah, you can get double XP as well from um, the Lucky Block, which is quite nice. But there's also a trinket. Now, if you get this uh, effect plus having the trinket, it will actually do four XP at a time. So that's ideally what you kind of are going after, really. Trinkets, man. They're so cool. But yeah, it's about to run out, Luke, unfortunately. But that is definitely made my XP days a bit more faster, right? Why did I do some mining without any haste? I'm an idiot. Okay, so what does level 17 do? <laughs> it's a troll one! Okay, it's useful. Oh, 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 no. There's the TNT one I've been talking to you about before. There it is. TNT, watch out. <laughs> That's in the game, so you can't just put a weight on your mouse or on your keyboard or whatever. And just walk away. Yeah, it's designed so you can not kind of AFK. But yeah, that's uh, 32 stone now every time I break this thing. Which is uh, is good, but I don't really need any more stone. I got 50,000 now. <laughs> oh, oh no, I got some removed. It's not really a big issue though. Oh, I broke that cauldron again. So I've just actually had a bit of a brainwave. I've just lifted up my four cauldrons because... I haven't actually got any dirty stuff to wash anymore. And if I do need it to rain and I need to fill these up, I've obviously got the trinket, right? But yeah, right, I'm pretty sure this thing has just... Yes, it has stocked up. I just witnessed it. I saw some little green particles. And you have as well, look. <gasps> it's here, the double XP trinket. Okay, I can actually afford it. We're definitely getting that, so we're going to equip that one. We've already got the arrow one. This one gives you permanent saturation and this one gives you night vision i think i'm gonna get that one and equip that because i don't want to be bothered by actually getting food but i need to actually buy some of these right um just in case because yes this is good in this zone but obviously in a mob arena do i want to really focus about my saturation maybe but there might be some other useful trinkets so yeah i'm just gonna get some of this in a minute I'll probably buy quite a bit of stuff. Uh, let's just throw that on the ground and chuck all this away. There we go. And we could go and get some food. Um, so yeah, now when I mine this, I should be getting double XP, look, you can see. It's going up in twos, look. And obviously, if I take it off, it will just go back up in ones. So we'll put it back to 600. So it's a nice round number. There we go. So that's pretty cool, right? And now if I get that um, mining effect again from the lucky block... I can obviously uh, get four XP at a time, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go for all of that. I'm 
I'm not going to go for the wrong flesh and the melon, though. I think I'll leave them. Uh, okay, so we got quite a bit of food here. Um, yeah, I, I'll just leave it like that for a minute. Okay, how much redstone have we got? 25. We don't really have a lot. Um, I'm just thinking about buying another diamond pickaxe because this pickaxe is about to uh, break soon. Uh, yeah. But this is going to really help me get some uh, mining levels up a bit faster, right? So yeah, probably the game we plan today is to try and get to level 20, maybe, if I can. And see what happens from there. Uh, we're getting a lot of drops now, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We got, we still got some mining to do, though, haven't we? Oh, no, I broke my pickaxe. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to it. Oh, God, it's gone. Um, geez, man, that had on breaking five on it. Okay, are we going to be able to pull this off? We don't have a lot of gold on me, or copper. But I do have a lot of iron and gold. That didn't make any sense, Dan. I meant I got a lot of iron. I only need one more piece of redstone, look, to get this piece of glowstone. But yeah, we're getting about to level up. The stone trader has arrived. Oh my god. Check in the banking area. Okay. So now this is why I said silk touch was very useful. If I go and take this stone, look, we might be able to get some better deals with this guy. So let's go and have a look at this guy, shall we? So he actually uh, summons in over here, look, and he's got a little fire. He may look familiar to some of you guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you've got some stone on you, you can actually get pretty good deals with this guy. Um, but look, a piece of redstone only requires me to have 16 um, raw um, gold, which isn't that bad, to be fair. Uh, let's get a couple of them. And we'll be able to buy... There we go. Nice. So now if I had another 64 of this stone and some more gold, I could get glowstone. And you could see how much cheaper it could technically be. Um, but the problem is I've only got silk touch on that golden pickaxe, which in all honesty is a pretty decent pickaxe, but it's not that great. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to get this piece of glowstone from this guy. That should probably fix my pickaxe a little bit. Try and get a bit more stone. Okay, that's probably enough. And now we'll be able to buy another piece of glowstone if I've got some more gold. Uh, how much gold do I actually need? Eight, okay. Mm, Maybe a bit pricey. But I could probably decraft down the glowstone, I guess, right? Actually, back, get one of them. It's probably worth it because then I will have another piece of glowstone, look. Okay, and then we can put that back. No, we don't want to put that back. We wanted to trade that. Oh, I'm getting confused. I am getting a little bit confused. Now, there is a little bit of a hack I've just realized as well. Whilst playing this, there's, that this guy gives you XP, right? And now the guy over there doesn't, but because this guy does, you can just go back and forth and trade and trade and trade and trade. But I mean, is XP really that useful in this map? Not really. Yes, you can enchant stuff, but yeah, it's not really going to be that beneficial. Um, but yeah, this stone trade is going to be very beneficial though. But the problem with it is you're forfeiting this because I'm not going to get any XP from mining with this thing, right? That's the only issue with getting stone. Um, but I guess it's the price you pay for trying to get more monies. Ooh, but I got one of them though. Where is it? Over here, look. <laughs> An iron nugget. That's rubbish. Oh my god, we need so much again. We're hitting 10,000 now. Okay, right, let's get another um, let's get another piece of glowstone and switch out to my actual pickaxe. There we go. So we should be able to buy another one of these pickaxes now. Boom. And we could combine them two. And uh, I'm probably going to just put this away for a minute. Oh, I could probably get three more, right? May as well. There we go. So that's got efficiency three on it now, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, okay. We could probably buy two glowstone here, look. We did as well. Jeez, man. Okay. 
Now I need to look at what's next. Now I'm pretty sure it is um, a quartz, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, look. Eight glowstone dust will give me a piece of nether quartz. Using the stone technique, it won't take that long. Um, but again, the problem with that is I don't actually get XP. Um, what are we looking at for him? I keep going into this guy. Okay, he's so expensive yet for the upgrades on this thing. Um, okay, let's give this a go. And maybe we should just level up and see what we get. Okay, so I'm almost there, guys, as you can see. And there's a lot of loot around me. I need to go and pick it all up. And I think I will, just in case a TNT appears. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, cut back here because the uh, pickaxe I'm actually using, I'm pretty certain that hasn't really moved the durability bar at all, is it, really? Yeah, this thing... Oh, it's just gone down a bit of a chunk now. This thing is a very OP. Oh! <gasps> Glowstone dust drops now! No way! That's not what I thought was going to happen. But that is amazing. Okay, so we might actually be able to get quartz now then, eventually. It was eight, wasn't it? Ah, oh, 250 stone. That's not really very good. Okay, next level is 11,000. I did say I want to get to level 20, if possible, today. Um, but glowstone should be dropping now. That's pretty cool. There's one! Nice! It does drop. Okay. Um, oh my god, we're almost at 100,000 stone. <laughs> Jesus, man. That is mental. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. <gasps> oh my god, I got double XP. So that means look, it's going up in fours, look, guys. <laughs> that is why you want to have this thing equipped as well. Because, um, yeah. It does actually double up, look. And look how fast this thing is going up. I'm going to just sit here and mine until that effect runs out. Yes, Dan. Oh, I might end up getting to level 21. And 64 times the amount of stone. Oh, no. It spawned a, a thing. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for it. I should have left it. But you never know. It's almost like gambling, isn't it? You never know, right? I want to gamble. How long's left on it? <gasps> Not long. 15 seconds. Oh, another one. I can't leave them though. I want to grab them all. No, it's going to run out. It's going to run out. It's going to run out. Oh my God. I've realized I've just got like loads of glow stain on me. No, it ran out and I'm going back down to two at a time. Okay. Wow. That was pretty fantastic, right? Right. Let's get my first ever piece of quartz look at this awesome okay so we're almost actually be able to get um another one so we can actually almost get this pickaxe um do you know what guys i'm actually going to use this pickaxe for a minute get some more stone jesus this pickaxe is so much faster isn't it get some more stone and trade to try and get some more glowstone that way because it's not actually that expensive okay uh, I could probably get one from this guy. And I think he wanted a stack, to, a stack and eight of those. Right, pieces of stone. <gasps> There's a glowstone there. Okay, that will do because the pickaxe is about to die. Yeah, we could totally do it now, guys. We could, we're going to get this next diamond pickaxe. <gasps> Jesus, man. But there we go. We can actually buy it. The astonishing diamond pickaxe. Can I combine these? It might be worth it because that will have unbreaking on it four right is this even possible this this anvil is still lasting i don't know how it's actually working though but it's saying it's a brisk diamond pickaxe which isn't epic anymore oh my god i'm gonna do it i don't care right let's see how beastly this is oh my god I don't even know if it's actually that much quicker, to be fair, because of the haste, right? It does, it's hard to tell. It really is. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to go to 21, guys. I know I said I was only going to go to 20, but it's a bit addictive. I'm not going to lie. And I'm loving it. I really am. And I cannot honestly remember what this next one is. But I kind of think I can remember, maybe. I'm not too sure if it is what I think it is. What was the last thing we got? It was 64, wasn't it? Yeah, so... I think it is this, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, so am I correct here? There's a lot of stuff around. Are you ready? The portal to the fishing area is now open! What? What? Okay. This is awesome. Right, I feel like what I'm going to do, guys, is chuck everything in here. And we'll have a massive cleanup. I'm going to put that away and that away. But I'm going to put this trinket thing on because this is evolving fishing. And the other one to make it rain, right? Because you always want it to rain when you're fishing. Okay? Because you get more drops, basically. Um, wow, the fish bite faster. It's a known thing in Minecraft, right? So I'm going to put these pickaxes away for a minute. We'll keep that little that one for now. And we'll keep that one together. So let's have a quick little fish and have a look at this place, shall we? So you just go through it. And here we go. We're in the fishing area. What? Now this place might look very familiar to some of you guys. But yes, this is the fishing area from Skybound. But it's been uh, tweaked a little bit. It's a bit different. It's not exactly the same. It's very similar. It was our favorite ever fishing zone in the map. We thought, you know what? We'll just bring it in this. Hole. So when you're in here, there's actually a lectern. And it does tell you some things. But I'm not really going to read it. You can read that and pause it if you really want to. Um, there's also an ender chest here. So I can access all my stuff. I didn't actually need to grab these. I could have just uh, got them anyway. But yeah, in this chest, there is much like the other area. At the start, there's broken fishing rods in here. Now, these do not replenish, okay? So, this is all you have. And there's no way to buy fishing rods. There's no way to craft them, neither. You have to catch them. So, you got to pray and hope that you manage to catch one. Because if you don't, I'm afraid, guys, it's GG. So, that's it. Um, but because I've actually magically got this uh, experienced fisher trinket, do you see what it says? It doubles caught fishing loot and increases the odds of catching better loot. So this is a very, very powerful trinket to actually have. So when I actually finally and eventually get myself a bite, I should get two drops from this. Fingers crossed. But as it mentions there... It will have an increased chance of getting better loot as well. So it's kind of a double, double beast. Now, you cannot stack these, by the way. These ones, they will not stack. Some of them you can, um, but you kind of just need to work that out for yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe I need to be fishing in the actual rain place over there, maybe. Oh, here we go. We got a one fifth. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you absolutely kidding me right now? Uh, wait, what? That cannot be real. I just caught a never star. <laughs> wait, what? Hang on a minute. Are you absolutely kidding me? Right, hang on a minute. Do you understand how powerful that is? Okay, we're almost at two hours. Um, how? What? This thing is worth so much, guys. This is the last item you can physically get in the actual map. I almost feel like something's broken there. I don't think I should have caught that. Um, for now, I'm going to save it to episode four. <laughs> Um, because I might need to look into that because that doesn't seem right to me. How have I caught that? I know I'm using this trinket, but it isn't supposed to be that common. Um, yeah. I'm a bit of a speech this way, though. This is so weird. I mean, I know I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I know I should probably accept it, but I can't accept that. That's like the end game resource. <laughs> Oh, God, no. What are the odds of this, man? Right, let's try this again. Okay, that's more like it. We got a raw iron. But yeah, basically, from fishing, you catch, not fish, you catch the resources. And as you can see, I'm getting like 150 stone added as well. So you can actually catch stone 
and various other things as well as pickaxes as well which are actually um a bit like the ones you get from the dirty washing pickaxes i would say um but they are different from the pickaxe trader ones but yeah i'm generally a bit shocked now and i genuinely feel like something's not right there i might need to adjust that but don't worry i'm still recording before you guys have even access to this so i can adjust the loot table if i feel it's not balanced but was i just stupidly lucky or is it was it not no something's not right here is it look i just caught another one <laughs> dan must have messed up <laughs> oh god right Anyway, guys, I'm Dan Ross Probs. Thank you very much for watching, as always. That is the end of episode three. And yes, I will put this um, Never Star in the, in the end of the chest as well. And I feel like I'll just bin both of them. We'll do that together right now. Um, where's an area I can just bin these? Do they actually despawn? No, they've got explosion resistance, haven't they? We'll do this together, right? So let's just chuck them in this corner over here and say goodbye to them. We never saw them really. It was all a dream. And we, we're just going to get out of here now and run away. <laughs> you'll know if I have them anyway because you'll realize, hang on a minute, he's got loads of stuff. But trust me, guys, I will not keep them. That is a bit of a bug, I think. I need to adjust the loot tables because it's not uh, very balanced, I don't think. <laughs> I caught two of them with a rubbish, terrible broken rod. That's not right, is it? But anyway, I'm Darius Probs. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you in the next one. Um, yeah, we're almost at two hours. We're not doing too bad, I guess.